We're back now with some big changes for the Bluebird. Of course, I'm talking about Twitter. The company announced over the weekend it was removing the so-called blue check marks. Yeah, these marks are given to users who have paid a monthly fee, but some argue it will lead to confusion over which accounts are authentic. In fact, it already has led to confusion there. Callan Rosenblatt covers youth and internet culture for NBC News. She joins us now with more on this. Good morning, Callan. So many people talking about this on Twitter. So first, let's start with who's affected by this. So not everyone's going to be required to pay for verification. So who's going to be able to keep those free blue check marks? Well, uh, Stephen Zinclay, uh, as you may have noticed, we've all kept our blue check marks. However, the people who are intended to keep their blue check marks are those who have paid for Twitter blue. Now, there are going to be some exceptions. Those who have not paid for Twitter blue, uh, who are organizations who are among the uh, 10,000 most popular Twitter users, and Twitter's 500 most popular subscribers are going to be exempt from having to pay for Twitter Blue. But uh, as we've seen over the weekend, uh, everyone ended up keeping their uh, verified blue check mark. And that's because, according to the Washington Post, the system to remove the blue check marks is manual. And it is a system that is prone to breaking. So uh, we may see these blue check marks hang out for a little bit longer. But as I mentioned, it is only Twitter blue verified subscribers who are supposed to be keeping them from now on. And Callan, some are predicting that the sudden loss of verified accounts will actually cause another meltdown on the platform, maybe misinformation. People don't know who's real and who's not. So what have we seen so far? So, you know, uh, I believe it was yesterday that we began to see if you clicked on a verified blue check mark, Instead of telling you whether it was a legacy blue check mark or whether it was someone who would pay to Twitter blue, um, it, what we ended up seeing was a, a change in that language that says it's either a legacy or it's subscribed to Twitter blue. Now, the issue there is that, uh, you know, anyone could be, uh, you know, it could not be the official account. So we could be seeing uh, impersonators now, and you won't be able to tell whether it's legacy or uh, someone who subscribed and bought that blue check mark. Because of that, we've already seen impersonators once again kicking up on the website. We saw that once Twitter Blue first launched. We're seeing it again now, as many predicted. So a little bit of pandemonium on the website, as intended or as expected, rather. All right. It, well, it continues to have a little bit of pandemonium there all the time, Callan. So some big accounts, <laughs> namely, <laughs> namely the New York Times, lost its blue check mark. Uh, that seemed to be an issue with Elon Musk because the New York Times said they weren't going to pay. So there it is uh, without the blue check mark. But even before that, accounts like NBC News got yellow check marks. There hasn't been a ton of explanation about it. What's the difference between these colors and what's the overall reaction from verified users? So yellow check marks or gold check marks are for organizations. There's also silver check marks that are for um, uh, pub uh, politicians or public figures. So there's a, a sort of a, a, a myriad of different uh, check marks now that you kind of have to keep up with. Uh, but again, the blue check mark has always been the sort of uh, traditional check mark on the site denoting who is, uh, you know, a, a a public figure or a person to follow and now we're all gonna have to be really careful about who we're looking at yeah what could possibly go wrong all right something to watch <laughs> Callan Rosenblatt thanks so much thanks for watching our YouTube channel follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app